Kobe Bryant's got that look in his eye, even with his eyes closed. <laughs> Carlos Boozer and Kobe. <laughs> oh, boy, they got a positive attitude in Salt Lake City. <laughs> All hope is lost. Final seconds of the first quarter. Shannon Brown, let Shannon dunk. Lakers up five after one. Under four minutes to play until halftime. Lakers up by 15. Bryant doesn't think that's enough. Lakers up 17. Moments later, Paul Gasol. Another double-double rim. Lakers up 17 at the half. We go third quarter now. Lakers up 13. Look at Bryant. Create for himself and finish. How tough is that shot? Jazz cut it back down to 13. Open for three. The assist from Darren Williams. Bang, bang, bang. Within 10. Just over five minutes to go now. 11-point game. Look at Gasol. Finish and he gets the roll. Lakers up 13. And then Gasol again working on Boozer, knocking that down. Lakers up 17 and pulling away. Under three minutes to play, Lakers up by 20. Bryant. There's the finisher. Lakers are moving on. They'll face the Suns in the Western Conference Finals. They take this series four games to none, 111 to 96, the final in this one. Williams, Millsap, pretty good games for Utah. But Gasol with 33 points, 14 rebounds, Bryant with 32, and the Lakers are moving on. The Jazz eliminated by the Lakers in the postseason for a third straight year. All right, time to look ahead now. Let's turn to Robert Flores and Tim Legler. Welcome inside the NBA Fast Break Studios. Robert Flores alongside Tim Legler. Legs, the Western Conference Final is set. Lakers and Suns. Lakers beat the Suns three out of four in the regular season, but what's going to be the keys to the series in the Western Conference Final? Yeah, the Lakers dominated the regular season, but misleading. They played three of those games early in the season. Suns really hit their stride late February. They've now won 28 out of their last 34 games, playing their best basketball of the year, and it comes down to a battle of wills. Can the Lakers control the game by getting to the foul line, posting up, offensive glass, use their size on that front line to really control the tempo of the game and force the Phoenix Suns to play defense in the paint and along the baseline. It makes it harder for them to get out and run when they've got to put extra defenders in the paint against guys like Bynum and Odom and Pau Gasol. On the other hand, the Phoenix Suns, they create a lot of problems because they've got so many guys that can shoot the basketball. It's one of the best three-point shooting teams in the history of the league. They always have four three-point shooters on the court at all times. That's going to be tough for the Lakers to match up with. It means that they're not going to, be able to play that big lineup as much as normal. Comes down to which team can control the game by playing their style. And the Phoenix Suns right now are hoping yeah. that they shoot the basketball well. All right, pick a winner. Well, I'm going to go to Lakers in seven. I just think ultimately it comes down to that seventh game at home. I think the Suns will give them all they can handle. But if you've got a game seven at home and you've got Kobe Bryant on your team and you've got a team that smart, it's experience, I think that they'll ultimately be disciplined enough to get the shots that they want, and that's the keys against the Phoenix Suns. You cannot settle. Lakers and Suns meeting for the, in the postseason for the fourth time since 2000. All games in this series can be heard on ESPN Radio.